All right. So we've got this HX210, and it's got a bit of spider sag. So I'm going to deal with the spider sag. What I have here is 100% acetone and a brush. You do not get that acetone on that triple joint up in here because uh, acetone breaks up CA glue. So you don't get it here, you don't get it there. You want to get it out here in the middle. And you brush that acetone on there and embrace the cone up. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. You let it sit for a week or two with the cone raised just a hair above where it should have been. And then when you remove your braces, the cone will drop in the proper position and that should be where it stays. And that's how you get rid of spider sag and old subs. So let's get started here. We're going to set that right there. Get some on the brush. I'm just going to reach in like that. And just soak the spider with it all the way around. I want to use this old 1990s woofer in a 1990s build in a 93 single cab Ranger. I actually got two of them and I'd love to use them both, but one of them has to be recombed. So it can't be used right now. But this guy here is actually in really good shape still. And trust me, if you know Rock, anything about Rockford, and you know about HX2s, it doesn't take but one of these to actually hit really hard and really deep. Um, they're really, they're some old school classics. Almost gotten all the way around it. I'm over here to the other spider now. The other coil, uh, the other tinsel leads now. That's the hard part is getting with a brush like this, getting it under the tinsel leads without touching that cone and uh, triple joint. And all I'm doing, let me see if I can get the camera where to give you a good view. I am um, just putting the brush in right back to that last rib there. Scare. And then I pull it to that one. That's the only area you gotta wet with this stuff because that's where your sag's at. Like I said, you don't want to get it too far up here all over the place near this lip because then this end of the spider can come loose. If you get on triple joint, triple joint can come loose. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, and I'll do this a few times here. I'll make sure I wet that real good. And what the acetone does is it relaxes the fibers in this spider so that when you lift it, it can, uh, they'll be relaxed. And then as it dries, it'll reset, which will take it back into its proper shape. Uh-huh. Get that real good. I want this thing to stay up for a while. There we go. Now, here's how you raise your cone up, or at least how I raise my cone up. I've got these plastic dowels here. And I'm going to slide one in here, like so, right up under the cone, through the spokes, and out the spokes on the other side. Make sure to do it away from your tensils, because if you try to go through this way, and you get this against the end of that tensil lead, you'll rip that tensil lead loose. And if you're lucky, you'll rip it loose here, and you can re-solder it, but why have to do it if you ain't got to? If you're not lucky, you'll rip it from the cone, then you got a bit more of a problem. Now, if you watch, you see, with those in there, I'm going to push on the side of this right there. Watch that cone. It goes, boop, see raise up, down, up. And all I got to do is put them right there like that. It's got the uh, cone raised up just above 
just above its normal resting position and that lifts the spider and while it's nice and relaxed you get it lifted you let it I let it sit for about two three weeks usually sometimes only a week it depends but uh when I pull them back out that thing will be right back about proper height again when it's done and uh, reset I'll make another video showing it but uh for now that's how you fix spider sag and these old woofers without replacing them.